right? Okay, at least I can f uh, see this normally again, so to speak. So yeah, I should have everything from here. From those directions. From here, there's at least one console in there. Mm, I couldn't get into those places. Um, there is a lot of unexplored territories, of course. But these were at least... Okay, now I get it. It was, uh... Like, um, it was... This was the top. This was the top, which is now in the right. And this was the side. And this was the long tunnel that we climbed kind of up. Ah, oh, that makes way more sense. But uh, there was no knowledge that it kind of, uh... Did something like that. So it was a kind of a little bit confusing. So I guess I could go and check those things out. Hmm. What is this? This is supposed to be obstacles, so then I would have to go into here though. Right? I don't know how I'm supposed to get into there. I don't know. Well, let's check it out, I guess. Let's check it out. I don't have enough orbs, that's at least something that I know that I don't have. I don't know, need a lot more to get to one of... <laughs> I cannot get through this anymore actually, like this. It seems a little bit silly. Because I cannot deactivate this, I cannot like uh, I can't, no way that I can do anything about this big rock here on the way so guess there's this, some other way into there but I don't remember now what that would be <sighs> well fine let's not come into here then Well, I guess I could then just try to be heading all the way to the top there. Because I am a little bit unsure what I would need to be doing otherwise. From their home. We pushed them, they fought back. Return them to the planet, end the fight. Oh hell, you don't know the first thing about that device she's brandishing so nonchalantly. Why am I even bothering? I've been reading a lot of texts, you know. And yes, I agree with your statements now. Why didn't you realize anything of those things previously is kind of beyond me, but... Well... Mm. Okay. This way we were able to get where I wanted to get. Let's drop those few down there. Out of the game. You go. As well. So I can make my way into here. I could have been more easily come into here if I would have been in the influence of that sort of a thing. But I just happen didn't happen to be now. But let's see if I can actually find something interesting in here. What if I just jump over that? <laughs> and don't just go into it. There's again a big teleportation device. The head hears me and I hear it. We sing together, all of us, to remind us of the great chain of before. Like you were all nonetheless relatively close to each other or... Uh, what does it exactly mean that you were as in a chain? That's kind of an interesting question. That's a smaller teleportation thing. Well, let's see where it leads, I guess. So I don't like to hear that the soul is merely an array of chemical signals, that what it's like to be you is just the byproduct of a very powerful computer. I say that if you explain a magic trick by reference to magic, you've not explained a damn thing. Well, those things are not going to be quite easy to explain, are they? No, because human brains slash computers are <laughs> relatively 
a complex. People don't like to hear that the soul is merely an array of chemical signals, that what it's like to be you is just a byproduct of a very powerful computer. I say that if you explain a magic trick by reference to magic, you've not explained a damn thing. What is magic in this sentence, though? It's quite a lot, considering how complex system it is, that how it uh, the conscious and stuff like that happens, though. I don't think... And just kind of a rather realistic, I guess, in these cases. Or it is kind of a talks, so to speak. So, what's up in here? Lots of this kind of teleportation, like up and down and down is up. Fine. So, well, we probably do need this sort of a thing though. Hehe, <laughs> we can have a copy down while we have ourselves up. Which is kind of a funny little thing. Hmm. We can get into here. So if we now take you into there again. Is there any use of it? Not sure. You couldn't jump. That's for sure. Nothing special that you can do in there, but I can. But it only changes your. Like a gravity, it doesn't change our gravity, so it doesn't really help in that manner. And I would need someone in the here like this. I think they all nonetheless like start in this manner. So I could just put this guy in here now and then get maybe a guy. Hmm. Like, wondering what would be the right option. Like, I can get myself like this. So, if I now would be in this guy... I could get into here, and then get into this guy, and actually go and pick that up. Yay! A little bit of a different sort of puzzles now. Have you seen anyone else on board the station? No. No, no, I I'm not sure either. Immaterial. You should be in a position to detach the first panel now. I shouldn't need to hurry you. I'm sure you're as eager Harry. to see your rescue team as I am. Harry, you. Hurry, you. You mean, I guess? Hurry. I'm not Harry. Well, so, what else is there? Memory terminal. Which I guess is going to be our destination. I want to be upside down to get into that, though. Don't I? From that device, I can get upside down. I wanna read. Uh, Swapper research interest. Team A report. Centuries ago, the greatest minds in the world believed in life essence. Some invisible, magical substance that explained what was alive and what was dead. As we know, they never found it. They decided in the end that life has just functions like road and reproduction and respiration. People think the retro-engineered swapper device swaps souls about. I worry that if the soul, like life essence, turns out to be nothing but pixel dust, then that device is capable of acts far less B9 than Chalmers would have them believe. Dr. Dennett. So am I myself anymore or not? After using the swapper all the time. What am I? It's kind of a good question, generally speaking, yes. 
So you raise that. Hmm. No. Hmm. I shouldn't have jumped quite uh, well. Uh, maybe that aggressively could be a right word. I shouldn't have jumped quite that aggressively. Hmm. It's just like wondering what I need to do in which order. I could. Ah. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be the worst idea, I guess. Hmm. Like, uh, before I enter that, I would just like, uh, put one guy into there. Then go like this, so that would go into there. Then we would at least have one already there, which not be that bad. Ah, uh, then, though, what do I need to do then is... Hmm. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. But, uh... Because I couldn't teleport into anything in here. That's why also jumping from there into there doesn't really work, does it now? Hmm. This way I could get that guy back into there though. But that's not enough for me to actually... Yeah, because I can't get that light off. It's again just uh, we act with these things. Something like that. <laughs> like... I do think that I want to reset those guys in there. And uh, then... Yes, it's not a bad idea that I go to stand there. And I guess I should be able to actually get this all the way into here as long as I get it standing like this. Then it should be fine. Of course, it cannot stand the way I stand, so to speak. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can do this and just transport maybe myself into here. Um, that guy is going to die anyways, like that, so that shouldn't be that big of a problem. Yeah, actually, this should work. This way I can just walk backwards and this guy will be coming here to this panel and I can get here. Perfect. Perfecto. Just a little bit of experimentation, and it's all clear. When the corpus callosum separating the two hemispheres of the brain is severed, the result is a seemingly normal yet partially divided consciousness. The eyes sometimes see what the mouth can't name. I tell you this macabre detail to suggest that the mind is not a single transferable entity. It is a complex physical machine that bides tampering poorly. Yes, just like probably these rock things would be a little bit like that too. It is interesting what happens when that that sort of a thing is done too, for sure. It's like one cell in which you are bound. Okay, where do I need to even go? Unexplored, so okay. I guess that's about the area that I am supposed to go into. Here. Let's see. Okay. So. 
cannot create anything to the blue light. And uh, here's again this changing, gravity changing mechanics. I guess I should have this sort of a thing here. Then get myself there without getting that guy down. Eh, no, not quite. <laughs> would have to be very careful with that. Now it didn't of course work because that guy... <laughs> and th this can be fun in other puzzles, but this is more like... Uh, well, not necessarily that difficult, just have to execute well. There's nothing in there anyways. So... Okay, yeah. I wasn't, of course... Even remotely close enough to this thing. Come here. Okay. I have to get you in the there. Yes. Then I have to get into here. Then I have to jump over this like this and then just walk all the way here and get to you. Easy peasy. Easy. Just a little bit of uh, execution stuff. And uh, well, that is all done in here. No, 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 no. I don't wanna. I don't want that to happen. Where was the thing that allows me to go the other way? You allow me to go the other way. Good. I'm starting to get better with uh, that. So, what else is here? Uh, I have explored both of those, though. Yes. Mysterious rock sample. There's an unexplored hatch. Uh, something has changed. You have a new trajectory. Will we rejoin the great chain? Yeah, you noticed the chains. I didn't even read this guy's text of this before. Yes, we are heading towards your planet, apparently. Apparently, indeed. Oh, let's see. Cargo command. I guess this could be a place to be heading into. They got turned around into there. Might have been better actually to get turned around. Well, I don't know. 23 more needed into here on the other hand. So yeah, I guess we really need to or I need to go and get back to the area. Where that one spot was where we could use uh, relatively, well, not that many needed overall to uh, so 48 i think yeah i just granted there's a lot of stuff that would need to be got and i could also get into there i could get into one of these two um uh, well i guess i could be ending here for now or maybe i should be just getting into one of these places i guess this first doesn't probably matter too much which we go first and as it's cheaper, it's probably meant to be gone first. So let's just go through this area into here and then I'll be ending for this time around. I think we've been able to get a lot of stuff done at least in these episodes. So it shouldn't be too bad, so to speak. Yes, got them better. At least. Like, easy traveling. No entry. Well, you know what? I think there will be entry. View. <laughs> uh, of course. View. Uh, yes, like this. Okay. 
So I'm gonna detach. There it goes. Into the space. Well, let's go to the next uh, checkpoint. I guess. The one called the Swapper. It manipulates minds by some method that is not persuasion or argument. Is it a weapon? I'm unsure if it's a weapon or it's not. It's likely the Watchers aren't even aware they killed the crew. Just as you're unaware when your immune system kills a virus. Once our fate was clear, Chalmers and I took steps to protect ourselves. No, the only way to survive is to land the station, to return them home. Chalmers and I. So there's Chalmers, and then there is the other mind, but is there like another crew member's mind in Chalmers' mind as well? And not actually anything to do exactly with these uh, rocks. Because I think they, they must talk about crew members experimenting, swapping with each other's bodies too, or something like that, which does sound a little bit dangerous, I might say. Okay. Let's go into here, for example, and there's probably a checkpoint, and I'll be ending into here then. Where we can continue next time, seeing if we can get a good process again going on. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I shall see you next time around.